It's week eight, and some of the more important elements of Chris's green flip are falling into place. A lot going on today. We've got windows, skylights, and solo tubes all coming in, so good day. So we can put probably these couple in today. I spent more than I wanted to on doors and windows, but I wanted to go with the really high quality ones because that's an important part of the whole passive solar design of the home. So all the doors and windows are dual glazed, but some have different films inside that block the heat. This door will go on the west side, and that has a number of 33. It only lets in 33% of the heat. The ones on the south are going to have a higher number, 65 or 70, because we want that heat to come in. So this is electric operated skylight. If it's too hot during the day, we can hit the remote, and this will open and let the hot air out. And then at night, we can open it and let the cold air in, and that slab will soak up the cold air. So this is a big part of our natural ventilation. Oh, there you go, it's perfect. One of the goals of this project is that we won't need electric lights on during the daytime. So along with skylights, three of these solar tubes will be installed and dark spots will be well lit without any electricity or much heat. And that's what we want. What's nice now is they make them with electric lights. So that same fixture is your light also. With less than two months left, Chris must move quickly to get his house done on time. Today we'll be setting tile. We've decided to go with a man-made porcelain tile instead of a natural stone. I love the look of the natural stone, but it's really soft and scratches, where this one is much more durable. It's a trade-off on the environmental echo parts of it because this takes a lot of energy to make. This one has to be mined, but I think durability-wise, this is what we're going with. While the tile is being laid, Chris decides to put a passive solar collector called the Trom Wall in his living room. This is the Trom Wall window, where this window is being used as a heater in wintertime. So when the sun's low in winter, it's going to shine through that window and warm this big block wall on the inside. All these blocks will get stacked on here, and these are pre-painted with a flat black paint that will soak up the heat better than just the gray. And then all night long, that heat goes back into the house, so it's a little passive heater for the house in wintertime. It's week 13, and Chris finally gets an answer from his homeowners association about installing solar panels on his roof. Good news, I was really worried about the HOA approval for the solar system, but we got it. Just like on the space station, the panels that go out, those same types of panels will power our home here. And that electricity is fed right back into the grid and spins our meter backwards. Our other system is a solar water heating system where cold water from the house runs into two panels. They heat up the water, and that hot water is stored in a large 80-gallon water tank. And in winter, we have electric backup. But that tank allows us to have solar-heated water 24 hours a day. Four months have gone by since Chris started work on this green flip, and his budget is skyrocketing. Everything's on schedule to get done, but price-wise, we're going to spend a lot more than we thought, because everything adds up. The heating and air conditioning I thought would be 3,000. That ended up being like close to 10,000. Yeah, we're probably gonna get closer to 140 than 100, so oh well. It'll be great when it's done and someone will love it. Wow, this is like a different place. 